Hi there, my name is John Fedro. This is the affordable housing update video for 2023. If you're mobile home investing, what's new for 2023 and beyond, we're gonna talk about in this video. Let's first jump to the chart. This is starting back in 2015, way back in 2015. And I would say in 2015, uh, just as a story, that uh, that's when we started selling more mobile homes for cash as a group of mobile home investors. Less for payments, more for cash, simply because we could get it. There was more cash in the market kind of starting back in 2015 and the market chugged along. 2020 happened in COVID with the supply chain and, and, and uh, supply chain issue, FOMO happened. People didn't want to miss getting a piece of real estate, even a mobile home, and prices literally doubled in the next two years until mid-2022. That's when you can see the peak as of right now and things seem to be cooling, not just on this graph, but in real life. And uh, that's what we've been noticing. We're going to talk about that more on the, ch uh, on the chart. We're going to talk about that more on the video today. Let's jump into these letters behind me, and they correspond with different aspects we deal with as mobile home investors. Let's talk about them. The first letter, A, we're going to talk about some random things. We already talked about that graph uh, that shows that the market is slowing down a little bit, which corresponds to what we see around the country, except in a few areas. We'll talk about that here down in letter C and D. Uh, realtors are becoming more friendly with us again. Yay! Saw this back after 2008. Uh, realtors, before they may have snubbed their noses at us a little bit more. Now they want more creative help or they can't make as money as quickly. There's less buyers and therefore they're willing to talk to us investors more. I'm not saying go out and do deals with realtors. That was just something I wanted to say out loud. And all the same ingredients are still there. We're still investing in mobile homes. If you've been sitting on the sidelines, I don't, I'm not sure what you're waiting for. We, you know, market's going up, it's going down, it's flat. Uh, we want to purchase well under retail and have an exit strategy, two exit strategies when you're selling uh, and always do smart deals. Let's go to B. The B stands for buying. When you're buying mobile homes, let's talk about these four things. We're going to jump around a little bit. But number one, some sellers want way too much for their mobile homes. Remember, let's go back to that graph. If sellers have purchased in the last two years or three years, uh, some sellers are still delusional that the prices of homes are still going up. That's not true. That's going into the winter months. People are holding on to their money a little bit more. Interest rates or who knows what's going to happen. So... Uh, some sellers are underwater and they just want way too much for their home and it sucks and it's sad and they're going to probably go through foreclosure or get their homes repossessed, some of them. Um, number two, there are still eager sellers out there um, and these sellers are not 100%, like their most important issue isn't price. They will sell for a really good deal or terms because they want to move fast. Speed is important or they want to stay in their home sometime after they sell it or they have title problems, or they're embarrassed for some reason, or they're not even in the state, um, or their home has to be moved, or there's some other issue with the property. And so uh, that's number two. Number three, when things, uh, are, when it hits school time, things slow down a bit, and then as that trails into the, the winter, when it snows, it slows. The more snow on the ground, the slower it gets. People don't want to necessarily move. They will if they have to, and people are always looking for a good deal. But things slow, especially the thicker that the snow becomes. Um, and then so after uh, holiday weeks, it, things come to a crawl. I did a previous video on the seasons and how that changes things for mobile home investors. You can watch that video here. That means going into the winter months, there will be a bit of a normal slowdown of sellers. There's still sellers. I still want you to get your piece of the pie, but this is all very normal. And so we still want to create a presence. People are still writing down your contact information. And when they need you, they will call you in the next few months. And number four, which you probably already jumped to, we're still buying mobile homes for between zero and $15,000. That's like the range that most of our mobile homes fit in on the west coast of the country all the way to the east coast of the country and north and south, or we don't do the deal. Sometimes we are paying more. It's a good deal at eighteen or twenty or $35,000 that we're either buying for cash or we're structuring payments with the seller. The, the important thing is if you're putting in all that money, you should be aiming to double that money. You put in thirty five, dollars you should be selling for double or close to it, more or less but there should be a good healthy profit or you're wholesaling. I suggest you have a business where you're not only wholesaling properties, but also buying them and flipping them for cash, sometimes holding them longer term on payments. 
You don't want to wholesale every property out there and you don't want to keep every property or flip every property out there and you can't. So it's good to have a business of both buying and selling and also wholesaling. And that's number four. C is repairs. Whether you do repairs on homes or you don't do repairs on homes. I've made video on this, videos on this channel that you can watch that we talk about repairs and all sorts of different exit strategies and what repairs and when you'd want to make and why and not to overspend and still have a very happy buyer where you disclose everything. Uh, and you're not going to get rich on any of these deals. So let's turn it. Let's move on. Let's go to the next one and keep stacking money. And then we can do what we want with that. We can buy mobile homes to hold. We can buy other property. We can do other things. So speed is important in this business, which is why it's good to have a good handyman. And handymen and contractors are spread thin. Since COVID, the number of handymen and women and contractors, I would say, have gone down. Prices are still up. Like COVID prices are still up and you're still paying more than you were pre pre-COVID. But I would say that they're flat when it comes to like handymen charging you know, not continuing to raise their prices, at least what I've seen in most areas around the country. And handymen and contractors are available in every market. You might have to import them and pay them extra to drive an hour and a half to like your random little location, but there's mobile home rehab. You can repair a mobile home in any market. Question is, would you want to, uh, or are there better exit strategies or things to do with that property? But repairs are nothing to be Repairs are the same. You should be just as cautious as ever. And letter D, we're talking about selling mobile homes. This one has a lot of different bullet points. Look at that. Number one, uh, like I said before, you even saw with that graph, the overall trend is definitely slightly down, but it's still a way better time. I want to emphasize this right here. It's still a way better time. There's way more cash in the market than there was ever from 2002 when I got started to 2020. I mean, there's still right now, there's way more cash. Yes, it's on the decline and people are holding on to that cash. So when you invest in mobile homes, you're not going to be selling them as if it was 2020, early 2022. You're selling them for less, but it's still a way better time to get cash than it ever has, or except for the past like two years. But besides that, it's, you know, so the market's going down a slightly, but overall, it is still just a good time to sell for cash and payments. It's always been a good time to sell for payment. Uh, always buy, again, I've said this like peppered in a few times, we always want to buy much, much lower than retail. We want to buy at good prices, uh, whether the market's going up, down, it's staying flat. Or if you're selling a home, if you have a question, you're saying, John, I am selling a home, uh, but it's not selling. And you have marketed it 100%. Like it is really out there well, online, offline, whether you're selling for cash. If you were selling for payments, I have a hunch it would have been sold already. But you don't want to sell for payments. You want to sell for cash, maybe bank financing if possible. Let's say it's marketed at 100%. Then you have to lower your price. You're saying, John, is it that easy really? Well, price cures most people's worries. So unless people are running out of your mobile home that you have, are having difficulty selling and they're saying, I can't stand these bugs or I can't stand uh, this, all this mold or, you know, these neighbors are just terrible. And like, you know, they're just scaring. That's literally every time that scaring somebody away, uh, then obviously change that issue if you can. But otherwise, yeah, lower the price. Price cures most people worries. So if you're watching this video and having trouble selling a home, the market is telling the market is going down at the moment. That's what's happening. And I don't, I hope that you listening to this video, you're not that one kind of left holding the bag. You know, you've been rehabbing a home for the last number of months or, and now you've gotten it ready and you, uh, the markets turn a bit. Number five, lending is still good though. So if you are selling a home and it's after 1976, it's on a piece of land or it's in a park, lending has really not been better Interest rates aren't as good as they were, but the available loan products for mobile homes are greater than they have been in a long time. Uh, buyers with 500 plus credit scores, mobile homes built after 1976, companies to consider 21st Mortgage, Triad Financial, Vanderbilt, ZippyMH.com, local banks and local credit unions even are important to go check those out Talk to the brokers, see what loan products they have for mobile homes like yours. What does the home have to do to qualify? A buyer that you get, what do they have to do to qualify? Um, I hope that this all made sense. If you've been sitting on the sidelines, like I said about mobile home investing, uh, don't. 
figure out what's holding you back, get your questions answered with mobile home investing or any type of investing. The clock is ticking. None of us are getting any younger. And if you have any questions, let me know. I can't believe it's already the end of almost the end of 2023. 2024 will be here soon enough. If you have any questions, email me. You can do that at support at mobilehomeinvesting.net. That's support at mobilehomeinvesting.net. Thanks so much for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.